In this video, I'm going to be covering one of the biggest misconceptions that a lot of beginners have in Python, and even some of the more advanced Python users still make this mistake because it's not something you learn that early on in Python. I mean, if you study everything correctly, maybe you will learn it, but it's something very easy to skip when you are learning Python because Python is a language accessible to everyone, which means that even my grandmother can start programming in Python with very little studying. It's not necessarily a language a lot of people specialize in, so they miss a lot of the important points. So what I'm going to cover today is something that has to do with imports. Now, when you import something, you can choose to either import the whole package by using the package name, or you can import certain functionality from that package. So you can say from NumPy import, and here we can say numarray in case we want to get a number array from NumPy. Now, if we use this, we can use it just as it is, and we can do whatever we want with it. We can use that functionality from the NumPy package. So what is the big misconception here? Well, the biggest misconception here is that you use this syntax to save on resources. You want to save on memory. So you're just importing the functionality that you need. This is not the case in Python. As soon as you import from a package, it's loading the entire package into memory. This syntax here just makes it more specific. It shows the program or the programmer that you're only using this function, which really helps with namespace clashes. Because as you already know that if you were to create a function called, let's say, square root, which is very unlikely, but if you did, and we have that there, and you were to import or not just import, but we're going to import from math everything. You'll notice that the square root might shadow that because math does have a square root method built in. So if you call it before the function declaration, it's going to work just fine. It's going to use the one from this package, but if you call it after, it's going to use the new one. So you can have these clashes when you are using the asterisk. So in general, when you import specific functionality, it does not save on resources. It just makes your program much more specific in terms of name clashing. Now, if you are curious to actually see this being done in practice, to actually see the memory being used by importing the package, you can follow along with the rest of this video because I'm going to show you that if you were to import NumPy or if you were to import certain functionality from NumPy, it's going to use the exact same amount of resources. So to do this, we're going to import OS and from psutil, we're going to import process. And that's going to allow us to measure the memory of the program before we did something and after we did something. It's not going to be incredibly accurate, just accurate enough to show you that there is a major memory difference. And since you probably don't care about how this works too much, I'm going to copy and paste this in. So the first function we have is going to be something called get memory usage, and it's going to create a process and it's going to get the ID of that process. Then it's going to measure the memory info for that process. So as soon as we call that, we're going to get the current status of the memory. Below that, I'm going to create a function called memory before import, which is of type float, and it's going to get the memory usage. So this is where we're going to start everything. This is the program in its basic state. Immediately after that, you can play around with the import syntax. So we're just going to import NumPy. We're not even going to use it. We're just going to play around with that. Then the next two variables we're going to create right below that are the memory after import variable, which is a float, which gets the memory usage once again. So that's the memory usage after we create the import. And the memory difference, which is the memory after import minus the memory before import. So we can see the total memory difference between before we imported it and after we imported it. And finally, I'm just going to print the information in a readable format. So here we have before the import, it's going to take the memory before import and it's going to format it to two decimal places in megabytes. Then we have after the import and the difference. So I'm just going to run that as it is. And I ran the wrong file apparently. So we're going to run main. And this time we're going to see what happens before the import, after the import and the difference. So before the import, the program was occupying around 16.67 megabytes of memory. After the import, it occupied 34. 
So the difference was 17.44. And with this get memory usage function, this is not guaranteed to give a perfectly accurate number because a lot can happen during a process. So if we run that again, it might be something higher, it might be something lower. There can be a lot going on during a process. But this is us importing the entire package. What happens if we import only a single variable from this package? Well, we can say from numpy, we're going to import pi. So this is a variable. We're just importing a variable here. And you know what's going to happen when we run this? We're going to get something equivalent. It's still loading that into memory. And again, this is not going to give us a perfectly accurate number because a lot can happen during the process. But as you can see, it's not saving on resources. This just makes it clearer to the program. And that's something that is so important to understand in Python because a lot of people use this syntax without understanding that they're not saving anything in terms of resources. But once again, the bright side of using this kind of syntax is that you are specific with your programming and that can really help with avoiding name clashes. But anyways, with all that being said, that's actually all I wanted to share in this video. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.